Hi there, welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School and uh, today I'm going to talk about circles because yesterday I did a video about uh, how to draw 3D objects and I had a comment on the video from an artist 719 who said, let me actually let me read it here, Shu, I know you've drawn a perfect circle before but how do you get it perfect every time? Well, I really haven't drawn a perfect circle. Uh, there's a great story about the, the artist Giotto um, and the Pope wanted to know how good an artist he was and he sent a messenger to him and said how good an artist are you and Giotto painted a perfect circle and said send that back to the Pope so uh, that you know that that's that, that, you know, I, I think circles it's really good to know how to draw circles without you know freehand um, because it's kind of you know the ba basis of a lot of things that I do I start with a circle um, and uh, how do you get to be good at it well do you remember when you <laughs> learned to uh, read and write, especially when you learn to write, and you would go A, 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 B, 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 and day after day you would write these letters again and again and again until you, your hand kind of learned how to write these words. It's exactly the same way. You should get yourself a, a, a book, get yourself a cheap pad or something from down at the drugstore. You've probably got something lying around you can use, and just draw circles. And every day, <laughs> draw more circles. Every day, draw more circles and uh, <laughs> you will be amazed how much better you get. So uh, I'm just going to switch off and show you something uh, now. So come back and just, just, okay, we'll just, just keep watching. Okay, well, look, I'm, I'm a great believer in visualization. <laughs> and so what I want you to do is before you uh, start drawing lots of circles, you can think of something round. And uh, I would suggest closing your eyes and imagine the world and uh, just imagine uh, this, this is where I live in England <laughs> and this kind of Africa down there and India and stuff Norway up there good and imagine the world spinning around and round and round in space in perfect perfect circularitude if there is such a word as that perfect circularity and just Think about the world going round and round and round and round and think about its beautiful smoothness and think from seen from space. Maybe go and look at some pictures of the world and just get it into your mind. And then every day start drawing some circles. That's not a very good one. Um, probably what you want to do is kind of do a page where you really take your time over each one. Am I still on? I'll just check I'm still on the camera. And just take your time over each one and and analyze what you're doing if you take your time you will slowly drift off into a kind of trance-like state as the right side of your brain takes over um, and you see I, I can see if you analyze what you're doing I can see there's a little flick there where I start you see that's kind of what I'm doing I'm doing a flick and you can see it there. So if I do it a bit more slowly like that, you can still see it. So I did this earlier and I was wondering to myself, what if I started somewhere else? So if I start further around the circle, <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable because my hand has got so used to doing it the other way. So, so I think the thing is to go a bit slower and try and join up. And I think if you analyse what you're doing, all the time as you're doing these circles um, you will get better and better and better because you might find that you're going slightly to one side like that and then you just have to kind of pull yourself back in and then maybe as you go down the page you can start making these circles bigger and bigger and then just you know see how it goes, these are actually quite good circles. Uh, another thing you might find, because I'm just going all the way around, you might find it easier to do it in two sweeps. Uh, try it that way. Because you're, you know, this is both kind of dragging down rather than having to come down and then curl back up again. Because you've got a different kind of motion altogether doing that. Um, so you might find that more easy. Um, and I and I think kind of these kind of exercises are quite good 
Um, if you take your time and you analyse and watch and think about what you're doing. And then when you've done a page of those, <laughs> go and do another page and try and do them really quickly. And, and just see what happens. Oop. And, and if you do that every day, then you will be surprised <laughs> at the end of a couple of weeks how good you are at drawing circles. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just practice, practice, practice. I keep telling you again and again and again. So if you want to get good at circles, what do you do? You practice day after day, week after week. <laughs> and you get better at it. Uh, drawing is a craft, it's a skill. It's something that you can learn. And <clears throat> the basics of drawing are very, very simple shapes and lines. And you have to train your hand, you have to train your finger to to just the fingers and your hand and your brain just to just to do it and you learn to do that thing by doing it again and again and again and again just like you did when you started learning to write so uh, there you go that's how you learn to draw circles <laughs> so i hope that's been useful and uh if it has keep going back to the shoe raider drawing channel on youtube well, let's have the word there <laughs> and uh keep practicing <laughs> keep drawing circles don't go around the bend. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.